So why are we in Slough? We're in Slough here today at the Equinix London 4 data centre to talk about the financial services market in the UK and the importance of the ecosystem that exists here in Slough. A lot of people don't know that financial services markets in the UK execute here in Slough, primarily here at LE4. And whether that's equities, fixed income, foreign exchange, derivatives, all of that electronic trading is happening here. So it's a, it's a hugely important location for the financial services market. And I think somewhere that is of particular importance to, to NASDAQ and certainly your ambitions as you grow the business, in particular with the, the new services that you're launching right now. So it'd be good to know who are Equinix. Well, Equinix is a global interconnection data center provider. We've got around about 200 data centers, just like LD4, where we are today, around the world, all the world's major markets, every major metro, across three continents. And what we provide is the ability for our customers to come together and interconnect with each other. Yeah. And whether that's using cloud services or whether that's financial services companies coming together to trade and to uh, swap and share information, um, it, it's, it's the same principle, it's all, about, it's all about interconnection, it's all about providing data center locations where new markets can be accessed, new technology can, can be deployed, and where companies like, like NASDAQ can really thrive and grow their business. Okay, and we've already worked with you guys on our Nordic products, and our customers can pick up Nordics here, and now we're working with you on our US products. Um, why do you think this has become such a center for financial trading? Okay, what we found here, the, the growth and the success of the ecosystem here has really been built around having strong magnetic participants right in the middle of it. So oftentimes that's the exchanges. So when the exchanges come to a data center like LD4, that brings a whole load of participants who wish to interconnect with them. And we've got over 200 different organizations here who are now here to interconnect with each other. And what they find when they come here is oftentimes there are business opportunities that they didn't know existed. Yeah. So lease lines can be taken out of the equation when accessing services, whether that's market data or connecting to an exchange. And because of the, the real range of services that are available here, it gives, it gives additional opportunities. It, it really enables growth. So what we've seen is most of our customers have come to us with a deployment of a certain size, and that grows over time as they see the value they see. And that, that presents increased market opportunity for all the other participants. So it really does, as an ecosystem, is a true ecosystem. It really helps to sustain itself and to grow itself. So we're really looking forward to having the, the new portfolio of NASDAQ products available here at London 4. Can you tell me a bit more about them? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, first of all, it's really important for us to be able to offer products to our customers locally. These aren't new products. They were available in the US before. This is the first time we've brought them to Europe and we've chosen London for that. Um, and the three products are, first of all, it is our premier market data product, NASDAQ Total View. It's all quotes and orders for all price levels from the NASDAQ uh, exchange. We also have our NASDAQ Basic Feed, which is an alternative feed for real-time level one data. It's a very cost-effective solution uh, for a lot of customers around the world, particularly in Europe. We have around 200,000 users of that product already, and I think having that here in London is only going to see that grow more. And thirdly is our um, index product. So we have 40,000 indexes uh, on NASA, and we have a real-time feed called GIDS that we're making available here. And in that feed, you have those 40,000 indexes plus 750 um, data points for ETFs, um, and also some third-party data that we mix in there. Um, and all of those will be available. And uh, which kind of markets are you looking to introduce these products into here? What kind of companies would these be most relevant to? Yeah, I mean, I think all of those products have different um, customer types, uh, specifically to NASDAQ Basic. You know, anyone that's looking to make significant cost savings on their um, US data spend, um, NASDAQ Basic um, can do that for you. So even from the subscriber fees um, down to the non-display fees, um, we can help our customers. And so far, we've helped customers save over $200 million using that product. So obviously, we hope that increases. Um, in terms of total view, you know, anyone who wants a full view of the order book wants to see every order, every trade, um, that wants to get some of our um, analytic um, products, like the order imbalance, um, like having deep insight into auctions, um, that they will be interested, so anyone really um, in banking, uh, high frequency traders, that kind of thing. Um, for the indexes, really anyone that's interested in following um, the US markets, uh, and actually our indexes cover uh, have global coverage, so um, you know, you have a full portfolio of indices that would work for a bank, an asset manager, um, even media sites might want to put it on there, so full portfolio. 
And do you think after London there could be other markets that, where this will be uh, will be relevant or could yeah, be introduced? Definitely. I think um, you know one of the great things about working with Equinix is that um, if this is successful and you know we have a lot of um, customer need for these products, we definitely would think about putting this in Hong Kong or in other regions. Mm. So close proximity to customers was one of the key things um, for us when deciding to work here with your LD4. Why do you think customers, uh, what's the benefit for customers to be in your ecosystem? Well, proximity is a really key part of this. So and that's all about how close you are to the information that you want to access. The shorter that distance, the lower the latency. And particularly inside a, a, a data center like this, you've got that low latency, so you've got instantaneous access but also you've got certainty, so you've got security. You're not relying on fibers that are in the ground outside. You're relying on, on fiber interconnection that's taking place within the building. It's highly secure, it's highly reliable, um, and you've got that peace of mind of knowing that you're not gonna be waiting. You're not gonna have a delay or a lag waiting for the information to arrive. So um, it's really all of those things that have, that have come together to create the, the value that we see here in the ecosystem. And we really think that this will be a great benefit to your customers as they access the services that you've launched here.